it appears the more our society progress, the more debased it becomes. Rising cases of ritual killings is suffice for such arguments. Nigerians were outraged when the news broke that a teenager conspired with his friend to kill his 20-year-old girlfriend, Sophia Okewo, in Abeguta on the 28th of January. An Abeguta magistrate court has reminded the four teenagers, Balogun Muskatin, 20, Majakodumi, Saliuddin, 18, Abdul Gafar Lukman, 19, and Waris Oladendi, 18, in prison for alleged murder after they were arraigned on a two count charge of conspiracy and murder. There's this quest, Dr. Let me start from you here now. There's this quest to, um, is that, as we have banditry in the north, that's a big problem among the youths and everything. The problem here in the south, if it's not this, um, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have touts, if they're not touts on the road, they end up being a Yahoo Yahoo boys. And these Yahoo Yahoo boys, they're fast becoming something else. They now call them Yahoo Plus. Yeah. It is alarming. Go to Elisha, go to Akure, <laughs> go to all parts of the Southwest. You will see some guys, they are dressing. The way you see them, you will know that immediately yeah, that yeah, these are Yahoo boys. Well, unfortunately, that's what um, we have uh, seemingly bequeathed to the younger generations. Because somehow we got to this level where morals suddenly nose died. Gets rich quick. I was reading a story of a journalist before I came here. He said when he was in Abeokuta at the uh, meteorological school there, he went to his mother back home and said, Mama, I, w I, w I want to borrow, I want to take a loan to buy a motorcycle. The mother told him, as an adult, level four in school, is that the next thing? Then when he started working in Champion, after a few years, he put money together, bought a car, and took the car home. And said, Mama, I have bought a car. And I said, okay, yeah, leave the car here, come. How much do you earn? He said, so, so, and so. So how did you put this money together? He now told her how... So I calculate it. He got the money for the car. I said, see, hmm. me, I'm not satisfied, though. Hmm. Go to your elder sister. Go and tell her the same story. If she's satisfied, you can come and drive the car. There's a fair point. So, but now you have even parents who are telling their children at age 20, age 22, that your mates are already feeding their parents. Putting them under pressure. Putting them under pressure. And then they see them with cars, they see them living in big houses, and they are not asking questions. Mm -hmm. And then also, the other side of the social media is what we are saying. Because these boys, the boy who was the arrowhead, was asked, how did you know that when you cut off somebody's head and you burn it inside the pot with certain things, it will make you rich? Hmm. He said he read it on Facebook. That all he did was to go to Facebook to Google money ritual. And it came up. Hmm. So we need to look at those two issues critically. To what use do our youths put the social media? Some only look for the negative things. They don't know that they are thousands of legitimate ways in which you can make money from the social media and also what are we teaching our children because it's likely going to get worse mm. the way we are especially because of the economic mm. situation Julie, it's very bad very bad now. It's, it's terrible it's a national calamity um i was in taraba in November and I can tell you that ritual killings have become a big problem in Taraba. Hmm. For anybody in Taraba? Yes. Uh, for people who are resident there is a big problem. It's everywhere. not limited to the south not only the southwest. South. In uh, those states it's a very big problem. In um, in the southeast is already a Abia, problem. Abia state is the boy who, who killed uh, his uh, girlfriend you know was a student now. The, the girlfriend was a student of uh, Unijos. 
-hmm. They were both resident in Jos. In Jos, yes. And then he ran away to his village in uh, Nasarawa. The, the truth is, it's a national problem. problem. And we have to come up with laws that will punish severely people involved in advanced fee fraud and people involved in money making rituals. The police must be told to be more professional than they are now. And then, of course, we know that morals, parents, many parents don't even teach moral rectitude anymore. Mm. They don't care. They will even be the ones to tell the child that, uh, mm. uh, look, can't you see that this mm -hmm. one bought a car for his parents? So those children want to be like those who freely flaunt their wealth. Mm, those that when people flaunt their wealth, yes. those people become Social their role models. Yes. Yeah. They That's want to be people. like them. Mm. And you see, um, uh, and where do they spend this money? Many times, nightclubs mm. and all they that. Leave their home. You know, mm. there is the problem of the of a web, uh, website, I mean, uh, of uh, one group on Facebook that already has 99,000 members. Mm. It's a private group, so you really cannot um, assess it, it except you are part of them. Now, the recipe with which these boys came up with the idea to cut off that guest's head, it was hmm. on hmm. Facebook. Confident. So now, who regulates that these people? That kind of content. Yes, that kind of content. Who does that? When you also look at our movies, mm. before you watch six Nigerian uh, Yoruba movies, especially, you are going to see at least two of them. Out of six, you will see at least two of them where a Babalao mm. is, is teaching. I mean, so, is, is, uh, is, 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 is trying, trying to tell that people that separately. you can make that money uh, mm. by taking people's lives and all mm. that. Get you know, syndrome. How do and we get true. rid of these irresponsible, useless Babalaos, you know, Habalis mm. who are producers, who are, who are, who are I, I don't know why people can't be creative enough. It does not even reflect the way we are. The average mm. Nigerian doesn't simply go out. You visited? Let the movies, let the movies show <laughs> who we are. I'm telling Going you, and day. portraying us as people who believe in uh, money making rituals. Uh, people, people, lazy you know, people. That's not who we are. You know? So, something has to be done. What is the video census board doing? If we can allow people to, to, to be come up with this, uh, uh, kind, of this kind of movies. To people. Some of those movies, the problem, most movies are rated 18. Mm -hmm. But these days, people can watch them on their phones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even underage kids can watch those movies on their phones. The things that we couldn't see before, mm -hmm. we can now see uh, using our phones. So, we, in, in the Southwest, I'm worried that a lot of the people that you hear they are missing a lot of the people especially when they hijack a whole bus mm -hmm. those ones are not kidnappers they do not get in touch with families mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. victims uh, uh, to, to, to ask for ransom mm -hmm. all they do is kill those people and mm -hmm. harvest their kill organs to the shrine, to the shrine they kill them and harvest their organs that's mm -hmm. why we have to deal with this problem it's a national problem it is and it's spreading look yeah. at the case of the man in zamfara who was arrested by the by the police yeah. who said he, he, he kills people and eats, and eats. their flesh hmm. so, so he's ready to buy even body parts hmm. just to satisfy his hunger for human flesh and so just... when we realize that this is a national problem then we must come out with the right laws to address this problem we simply don't punish iniquity in our country we and don't there's punish this, there's this case for money did they if you don't have money you are nothing that's what we said about those uh, those two parents parents who say uh, mm. your child is not, not a, a, washerman. A, a, a washerman you know and he's bringing, mm. different, and he's bringing clothes different clothes home you should know that he must have uh, stolen those clothes these days people don't care we people steal public funds we hail them they are the mm -hmm. people that we treat like human beings the people who mm -hmm. believe in hard work we do not reward at hard all, work at all. we do not reward honesty we do not reward uh, being truthful so everyone wants to be like you will see people who cannot defend their source of wealth we see people live lives of affluence and comfort 
Nobody asks questions about, oh, how did we, this guy well, become rich? How did he get here? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> asks. But the society will go and give them big traditional titles. Oh, of course. So why won't young people want to be like them? The average young man now, once he steps out of school, is thinking of becoming a Yahoo boy. Mm, that, that is, is if he was not even a Yahoo boy. That, that, that is if he was not even a Yahoo boy right from that, school. Uh, exactly. You know? That's the fact. That's the fact. I want to be a Yahoo boy. Very small boy. Because he mm -hmm. wants to be, he wants to be uh, comfortable. He mm -hmm. wants to spend money. He wants to have private jet, uh, 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 like Coach Poppy and the rest of you them. You watch the video of those three young boys who said they were from Delta State, but came to Edo State to learn Yahoo. Yes, mm -hmm. and of the youngest one who was fourteen was saying, "We have not come here to learn Yahoo Plus." So, so how did you know there is one called Yahoo Plus? That was uh, well, the, that uh, when they uh, use Juju yeah, and all that. That's, that's the issue because a lot of these things we see them freely. There is a, a series on. TV now, where you have children of the rich, all you see them do is sit down, mm. discuss about boyfriends, drive around town with security guards, mm -hmm. do flaunt, nothing. Flaunt their wealth. So how do you encourage other people to work when you can see these children, what they are doing? It's, we are not passing across the right messages. Mm. And like Vicky said, this is not limited to just the southwest it's just it everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere people who want to get rich quick mm. Mm. people who have not earned any money but who want to ride big cars yeah, because they believe that that's the way they will be recognized that's where they will be there recognized. was a wedding you know there was a wedding in akute where an alpha you know they come uh, do their uh, was mm -hmm. and all okay. that and people give them money and he was swearing at people who used to abuse um uh, yahoo boys Yo. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, because those boys came and dropped hefty money for them. Hmm. So like <laughs> <laughs> so for ah, kidney, <laughs> Because they dropped <laughs> money for you. <laughs> the society we've lost we've lost, we've lost it it any sense of moral yeah, uh, rectitude in our country. Mm, completely. Mm. You, know, you see in parties, in churches, the way they spend money and everything. But the, the bottom line is that these things, we know, we continue to hear it. And where should we start from? Is it from schools? Everywhere. From the home. From the home. From Everywhere. the home. From the home. Because from the home. We owe these children. So we are not bringing up children the right way anymore. Exactly. Mm. Well, Even those songs that they used to sing in those days, uh, uh, those those uh, um, what was it called that they we used to memorize okay all those things yes but now you are the the son, the, 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 the yahoo boys himself imagines that what he's doing is work hmm. it doesn't collectively yes and, mm -hmm. on shashe, then, really uh, on shashe. you know and this this mentality that uh, the white people came here to the food they are collecting the very the very a very lot of their victims are not white people they are not they dupe they dupe uh, they nigerians mm -hmm. the people that they are beheading and harvesting are their they, parts are they, are they white people they are nigerians so it's even i hear so it's just a very so silly thing to say. if you don't have money hide your face in shape uh, nah, 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 those are the kind of things you promote no the songs that people can't sing in public before Mm. They, they sing that's what <laughs> this boy sings now that's what this boy sings and it's very popular yes mm. you they are know very, they, are very ale, 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 ale. <laughs> <laughs> they will now TV, radio station when they want to play they will not they will mute that area, that area. Ah. <laughs> 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 and you will an album with mm. that don't go through the census board no not the uh, uh, I don't understand because how we get some, eh? we don't know. I have joining us is J.J. Johnson, a public affairs analyst and a seasoned journalist. J.J. It's a pleasure to be with you, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a dead friend. <laughs> I'll thank you, my brother, J.J. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank I'm you. still coming to Akute. I'm told you, J.J. that I'm still coming to Akute. Okay, okay, at uh, Yasandra's place, have you? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> for the, the, the commission of that. Okay, okay. Do you know you're a lecturer? You see these people grow. And um, yeah. over time, you lecture journalism and, um, I don't know, maybe you've encountered some Yahoo boys in your school <laughs> as students. Right. What do you tell them? <laughs> so it's the reflection of what, what I tell people is that whatever you think, you listen to a music, 
is a reflection of what happened in the larger society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when, a, when you have a society whereby we have lost our value system, whereby we celebrate materialism ahead of academic excellence, integrity, and the rest of it, that's why you have this type of problem that we are having now. And it's not a problem that is peculiar to this particular period in time. It's something which has characterized our society in the past. Um, you may will recall why we are very, very young. We used to talk about Goma Goma. Goma Goma, we trail Goma Goma. Yes, yes. You know, please don't for every mm. primary school children in the 70s and in the 80s. In actual sense, when we are leaving school, we leave schools in groups, not, not, um, not as individuals. However, the, 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 the rise of ritual killing has been on the increase in recent times. And what could be responsible for this? One, people want to get rich as quickly as possible because we respect wealth that we respect good name. Mm. You know, um, Ayo, you and Jide will recall when we were very, very young, if you take a pencil, a pile that does not belong to you, you mm. take it home, they will beat the hell out of you. Mm. Yes. Now, we see parents such a brother who did. their children that have no work that they are doing, buying cars, living in houses that they know that they didn't have money, 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 money to buy to buy for themselves. And that is that situation which we have found ourselves. And also this thing also has a political undertone. It has a political undertone in the sense that when we when any time the electoral cycle is coming around the corner, mm. the issue of Mr. Killing is always on the increase. Mm. Just take mm. the record. All yeah. you need to do is to go and look into the content mm. of newspaper reports around the electoral cycle and look into the content of news reports around the electoral cycle. So we are, we, it is a cycle of trying to get rich quick. Trying to get rich quick by having access to political power or trying to get rich quick by having access to spiritual powers of quick rich kings, which is something which um, has affected every person and every aspect of our lives. Now, churches, religious organizations, even celebrate people without knowing where the what is the source of their world. Mm -hmm. Um particular the like, celebrate people, they give this fancy title to people without knowing the source of and this not this was not how it used to be to be in the past. So like I like you ask um how do we relate to students that you have them if they're lecturer, they are not far from having their own voice in Amongst, amongst your students, among people that are passed through, it, it's there in your neighborhood, in your community, in your street. It, it's all around us. Mm -hmm. So, so that, 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 that's how, 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 how do we solve this problem? How do we solve now, this? The way, you know, the way we need to solve this problem is, is, is very, very simple. Now, we need to strengthen our judicial system. Now, if you are caught stealing money from the national post, you face the consequences of, of stealing that money. Two, if you can't explain, you remember, in the past, if people don't know the source of your wealth, they go and report you to the police. But if you go and report a young boy to the police, who will be the end product? It is the same police that will tell the young boy. Yes. It's your neighbor that has come to report yes. you to us. We collect so from we them. Need to, we need to build people's confidence in the judicial system. We need to build every system with the people. But then you can come to the community. You know everybody that lives in the community. You know everybody that lives in the community. You know everybody that in the community. You know everybody. You know the country of their work. And anyone whose sort of work is questionable, but it's not given recognition in society. It's not given recognition in the job. It's not given recognition by government. Mm. These are these are some of the ways in which to address some of these some of these problems. We need to identify and identify these things. Mm. Let them, for example, there are children that are afraid to tell us not to play. There are families that are children afraid to tell us don't family. That family. Don't play, don't I don't want to see you. I don't if they keep you I don't want to see you. All of this we need to we need to recover our old value system. Old value system of remember the yes. of mm. Now people don't think about it. It's not of whom you are. People are thinking of what is the structure of your work. Hmm. I will thank you. And these are some of the 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excuse me, lecturer <laughs> and public affairs analyst, Jide, and, and <laughs> this is simple. Some, some of them will be even be given the responsibility or the task of going to a graveyard to go and sleep. To go and sleep mm -hmm. there. Some of them or eat this. their own excrement. Mm -hmm. It's 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 bad. Yes, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. And some of them will even go bizarre in the process. They just go mad. Ah, uh, look at the boy who was a uh, video that went viral last year who went to uh, a roundabout to sleep with a well-known prostitute, I mean a well-known mad woman, in the open. <laughs> roundabout? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the video went right out. He, was, he slept with that woman. <laughs> you know, as the court is all this. <laughs> <laughs> huh? They it's must have told him that, look, if you can successfully do that, you'll become a millionaire. Yes. Once you do it, everybody must see. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay.